Oh, welcome back to the channel. This is Rubes Random. Just showing uh, this engine breakdown. I'm really excited. Finally got the engine in. And uh, there was a lot of things to kind of go through on this engine. So I wanted to go through all the vacuum lines. I wanted to go through all the bolts, all the nuts. Um, basically try to break down as much of this as possible, which is quite a bit of work, as you can see here. They also put it on a tire, which was quite interesting. What's out of frame is you can't see that the intermediate shaft and the axles are kind of janked and kind of jammed in there. I also had to figure out how to cut these straps because I did not have a good set of uh, slicers. Um, so yeah, first I'm going to just kind of address the vacuum lines, get that shit out of the way, get as much of this tubing and hosing and this engine harness out of the way as well. Uh, looks like I got some random aftermarket catch can, which I definitely was not going to keep. I just ended up trashing that. To be honest, I actually trashed almost all these components, just a lot of things I didn't need because there was a lot of things that just had so much corrosion. I had purchased this engine from, I think it was Virginia. And later on uh, down the, the road, I find, unfortunately, that there is some water damage on the camshafts themselves, which is obviously not good. I had to reach out to this eBay seller and I asked for a 50% discount, but I actually got this engine completely for free. So I, I really appreciate it to this company. I forget who, who provided me this engine, but I, I'm really grateful for that. In addition, that turbo was screwed up. This manifold is just awful. So anywho, um, I'm slowly getting tools, that stuff, getting this broken down as much as I possibly can. I think I'm now starting to address the timing the timing issue, or not timing issue, the timing belt area. I wanted to get all the timing components out of the way, so I realized I have to obviously remove the power steering and the AC compressor and get all these brackets removed in order to expose the timing cover. Right here, I'm kind of just blasting through this as fast as I can. <laughs> so funny watching yourself sped up. Look like a fucking Speedy Gonzales robot. I think I went over to the other engine. I was like, okay, well, I'm not gonna use that. So I'm gonna set that to the side for the new engine because the time or the engine mount bracket was super rusted and corroded. So I was like, fuck that. <laughs> I'm trying to move shit out of the way, I guess. It was a lot to take in because there were so many things I wanted to just get out of the way. And um, there was a lot of pesky things I ran into all at once. So maybe my ADHD was kind of kicking in. Along with that, obviously, it takes a lot of tools to be able to like go through everything that you you need in order to to kind of blast shit out of the way. But so f still trying to get this power steering pump out of the way so that I can get to the timing things. Finally, get out of the way. Realized I was going to keep the cap from it because the, the yellow cap was cooler, <laughs> so I decided to put the cap to the side over there. As you can see, I kept the top the on the left of the screen, you can see they kept the, the top of the timing cover. I like those black covers. They're pretty cool. Even though I do use one of the uh, clear timing covers, I also set some of the wiring sheeting out of the way because that stuff is pretty awesome. In addition to that, those rear vacuum lines, a lot of them were okay. I just mostly wanted to have the spare vacs and the spare uh, solenoids as a backup. And then the bracket that the solenoids go on, I was going to repurpose with my old solenoids. Looks like I'm ready to get the, yeah, it looks like I'm still pulling off that bracket, which is not very hard, obviously. It's just a few bolts, and I've got the Zucca Master Machine, aka the electric impact that I can just blast everything off. Luckily, I, for being as, for being an example, an engine example from Virginia, with as much corrosion that, you know, that's kind of in place, I'm actually really surprised that I broke literally not a single bolt. Actually, I lie. I broke one bolt. It is the the bolt that's just under the back side of the cam right in front of the turbo that holds that little grounding unit from, I forget what it's, what it's called, but it's like a little connector resistor that goes onto the engine. That, that bolt actually broke on accident, and it had nothing to do with this breakdown whatsoever. But anywho, it looks like I'm probably to the point that can't really tell from this angle, obviously, but I'm definitely going to town on the timing side. I'm trying to remove every single bolt. 
trying to battle and get to the water pump area as quickly as possible because I just knew that trying to prepare that surface might be a pain in the ass, which unfortunately it was because it was slightly pitted. So I had a lot of sanding cloth by hand work to do, so to speak. I think I just used like an 80 grit and 100 grit to, to kind of prep the, the surface. Yeah, I grabbed a pulley puller, it seems, right here, and then uh, went ahead and pulled that crank pulley off. So that's off. The lower timing belt section's off. It doesn't really matter if you have the engine in time or not. I just pulled everything off and just ready to rock. I've timed these engines so many times, so it, it didn't really face me that everything was like out of whack. My goal was just to get as much old shit off the engine and get it as bare as possible. Let's see what I attack next. I think right here I am trying to deal with some of the, the side slash rear brackets. I'm also trying to pull the idler off, I think. The tensioner. Yep, put all that stuff aside. So all the plastic stuff's now set aside by the Koyo radiator. All the timing stuff that I was going to repurpose at least. So I polish and clean that stuff up later and kind of clean up with wax. It's nice and dry and clean. I think I'm also uh, taking all the screws that I needed that were directly on the engine block and kind of placing them back to where they where they are going to be. I do have um, a lot of new new screws and bolts that Modern Performance provided or I bought from various places that I would end up just replacing them anyways, but you know, for the sake of trying to remember everything that I need, I kind of just went at it. But, uh, oh, wow, I guess that's that's it. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you so much for, for watching this thus far. Um, this has been a lot of fun. Thanks.